Hi everyone, welcome to the History of Football channel. Today I'll be doing another Football League ground. Going to be talking about the history of that stadium. And today's ground we're going to be featuring is the London Road Stadium, or as it's known now, the Western Home Stadium, home ground of Peter Reunited. Prior to the construction of the London Road Stadium, there was a ground that was there beforehand, and that was just a simple ground with one wooden grandstand which held 250 people. This was constructed in the 1890s. The London Road Stadium were constructed in 1913 and opened in the same year. This was the home ground of Peterborough and Fletton United who had played there from 1923 to 1932. After Peterborough and Fletton United were dissolved, in 1934, Peterborough United were founded and they became tenants of the ground and have been there ever since. The council at the time built brick dressing rooms and a committee room at the back of the wooden stand to support the Peterborough United club. These survived until the 1950s when the north stand was constructed. The two goal ends were the next to be constructed. Many home fans had traditionally stood at the London Road end so a covered stand and terrace was constructed there just before the Second World War began. A similar structure was built at the Moyes end at the same time. Financial problems during the war years meant that the City Council very nearly terminated the ground lease. Another local sports club almost took a 10 year lease on London Road, but Peterborough United was saved in 1942 by two individuals who paid the £50 owed in rent by the club. In the 1950s, the council sold London Road to the club following a long-term lease, and it was during this time that the major development at the ground began in 1953. The Moyes End was refurbished with a new covered terrace and, and similar improvement was made at the London Road End just a year later. One of the wooden stands was demolished, leaving a gap of 30 yards between the new main north stand and the pitch the pitch was moved back the following season. A new stand and terrace was then built at the Glebe Road, southern side of the stadium, shortly after the completion of the main stand. Four executive boxes along with a television platform would later be added to the structure. Floodlights were then added to the ground in 1960. These were first used in a friendly against Arsenal in February of that year. Following the club's promotion to the First Division in 1992, the main stand was forced to undergo redevelopment. This was because the stadium's seated capacity was below the level required by the Taylor Report. To solve this problem, the stand's terraces were converted to seats, with 700 of these new seats being bought second-hand from Leicester City, following the redevelopment of their Filbert Street Stadium. Another 300 seats were taken from Millwall's The Den Ground. Millwall were about to move into the new stadium. With a capacity of 3,605, the main stands facilities were improved to include a pub, conference area and a retail shop. Following on from this, the Glebe Road side of the ground had a new two-tiered stand built with a capacity of 5,000. This was opened towards the end of the 1995-1996 season. The Football Trust contributed roughly £900,000 to the project. In the early 2000s, London Road End and the Moyes End were fitted with new roofs and crush barriers to comply with safety requirements. Prior to the club's promotion to the Championship in 2009, there had been talks about the possibility of a new stadium. Peterborough United's chairman at the time, Dara McAnthony, promised that a new stadium would be built if the club could maintain their championship status for several seasons. However, after just one season in the championship, the club were relegated back to League One, and talks of a new stadium haven't resurfaced since. The stands that currently occupy the Western Home Stadium are the London Road End, which has a capacity of 2,175, the Glebe Road End, which is, for sponsorship reasons, now known as the Meerkat Family Stand, that has a capacity of 4,637. And also the Moyes End, which for sponsorship reasons is known as the GH Display Stand. This was uh, refurbished and completed in 2014 
and it replaced the previous Moyes End Terrace. The stadium has also been known by another sponsorship name. In 2014, Norwegian company Abex signed a five-year sponsorship with the ground and club worth £500,000. So the stadium for five seasons was, was known as the Abex Stadium. On the 1st of June 2019, the ground was renamed the Western Home Stadium as part of a 10-year, £2 million sponsorship deal. The record attendance at the London Road Stadium was set in a 1965 FA Cup tie with Swansea Town, or as they're known now, Swansea City. 30,096 people attended that game. The record attendance since the ground became all-seater was set in 2009 against Leicester City. 14,110 people attended that match. Another thing I noticed about this ground that I didn't know before was I was watching a video by uh, this vlogger called Matt the Groundhopper and he pointed out that in one of the stands they've still got wooden seats which is something very rare in today's game and I managed to find a couple of pictures of the wooden seats so it's not every day that you see them in stadiums now most stadiums either have safe standing or plastic seats but Here's a couple of pictures of the wooden seats. So that is my video on Peterborough United's London Road Stadium, as it's known now, the Western Home Stadium. They're at home since 1934, but it's been in Peterborough since 1913, the stadium, so well over a century. And um, sorry there isn't too much information on this ground, but I did the best with the information I've got. So if you've been to this ground, let me know in the comment section below. If you're a home or a way supporter, let me know your memories of this stadium. So this has been History of Football. Thanks for watching this video. And thanks to everyone that's recently tuned in for the two vlogs I've done. I've done two uh, vlogs, two weekends in a row, non-league football. If you haven't already checked out those vlogs, go and check them out. But anyways, I've got more videos coming out very, very soon. And I'll catch us all later in those. Alright, tap you by for now.